Hello and welcome to the premiere episode of Roadside Refreshments, the show where we, your hosts, um, uh, oh, what's my name? Uh, uh, <laughs> what is my name? What was my name? Ficus? Ficus and Corvus. Corvus. Our real names uh, come to you with reviews of all sorts of different types of beverages and drinks and juices and little freezes and all that sort of things things all those sorts of things you can get at the gas station or at the convenience store uh on a road trip or mm -hmm. whenever you find yourself uh driving around yeah i think this would be a little bit more interesting because most podcast review uh youtube channels just do food or movies or like of the sort so this is a bit different and i think it's be interesting oh i'm i'm sure that I'm sure there's 500 channels who are doing exactly what we're doing, but I, but I, none are Ficus or Corpus. Sorry. Sure, yeah. <laughs> well, let's begin. <laughs> yes, please. Um, uh, today we're well. Oh, well, a, a few details about us before we begin. We're from Miami. Yes. Um, so we decided to start out with what's considered. A Miami, a Miami favored, yo, which, a Cuban like pantry item, particularly, yes. which um, I have never heard of before. Yes, and I haven't heard of this one either. I'm like a third don't, generation Cuban American. No, to keep it in frame. Okay, we'll, say, we'll pause to say that again, which no, I've never heard of. It's, it's fine. Okay, um, uh, yes. Well, this is bad. Just uh, keep rolling with it. Silence and cut it out. Yes, it's fine. Okay. Anyways, uh, we decided to begin with a local favorite since we're from Miami. This is apparently beloved by the Cubans. The Cubans yeah. here. The Cuban pantry item. Yes. Uh, my friend here, Corvus. I almost forgot your name, my dear friend. Thank you. Um, I'm a third generation Cuban American. Yes. D did you used to drink this at home? I have never heard of this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I found out that supposedly it was a Cuban pantry item uh, on Wikipedia. I'm sure my parents might have heard of it, or my grandparents. Uh -huh. uh, supposedly it was popular uh, pre revolution. Uh, and then the brewing company was nationalized and it was started up again in the United States in the 60s. Okay. Yeah. Well,. This is what we're starting out with. So, uh, let's pop it open. Uh, and, uh, actually, before we begin, right, let's do our uh, expectations. Oh, yeah. Of what we think. Okay, so I can tell you, uh, just from the wiki, it's a cream soda or a cream soda esque drink. And I think like 50 grams of sugar in this. It's gonna be like, very sweet. So. It's not gonna be bitter like normal uh, herba mate. And just let you guys know, herba mate is like a Patagonian tea. Very, very bitter. 42 grams of sugar. Yeah. Very healthy. Very healthy. Um, I, I expect this to taste like very sugary mate. Okay guys, and just so we can just talk about something else as well. I think what's interesting about this bottle is the packaging or the branding. Yes, it's, it's very old school. Yeah, so there's no colorful colors that pop out at you that are super bright that try to catch your attention. We actually picked this out partially because it was in the corner of the soda pop section. It, it, was, it was kind of hidden away. Like, they didn't want anybody to, to, to see it, to take up space from Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Yeah, we were giving that fridge a good, like... Five minute stare, and then we just saw that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's what we're gonna start out with today. Materva, a Miami local tradition, apparently. Yeah, so, awesome, let's get started. First thing we're gonna look out for, as if this was a fine champagne, is what kind of sound uh, this beverage makes as oh, we. Oh, do it next to the microphone. Yes, well, let's bring the microphone a little closer. I don't know if it's gonna be in frame now. I don't know if it's blocking your face. I don't think it's in frame. Okay. Nice, easily sound. Yeah? 
Okay, pour. That didn't sound weak at all. No. Uh, no, yeah, go ahead, pour. Okay, let's see what color it comes out to. Ooh, that's a weird color. Initial smell, honestly, kind of reminds me of apple cider. Give me a few more seconds to smell this. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. But... Oh. I gave you a, a straw for a reason. Don't be a barbarian. I'm just smelling it. I take it back. It smells super sweet, like candy. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, like I might as well be drinking Jolly Rogers, uh, Jolly Rancher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like its own. It does not taste anything like Herba Mate. Oh, yes, it does. Really? You think so? This is exactly what I thought it was gonna taste like. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is, this is, this is exactly. This is this. This tastes exactly as if you went into my kitchen and picked out. That bag of of of, of, of Shea Mate and and made yourself a tea, and then just poured a, a gallon of sugar into it. It's 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 kind of it's well we'll, we'll we'll get to our thoughts in a second. Let me let me taste this again. Sure, I'll go another go. I'll take another swig at it too. It's so sweet that you don't taste the the mate until you're about to swallow it's kind of a weird thing like an aftertaste yeah it's kind of yeah it's an aftertaste oh the color by the way dark piss apple cider color it's, it's a very weird color it's it's not it's not quite like apple juice Oh, yeah, apple juice is a good description. No, but it's 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 lighter than apple juice. It's more pinkish than apple juice. Mm -hmm. um, um, honestly, I don't mind it. Um, if someone offered it, I'd buy it. I mean, I take it. I wouldn't buy it though. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't. I don't think it's up my alley, especially not if it has fucking twice as much uh, sugar as as a Coca Cola does. How much sugar does Coca? I don't know, like probably like 32 grams of a can. Yeah. Or no, that's a bottle, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to check on that. We'll, we need to do an episode where uh, we give our thoughts on on the, the basics, right? Coke, Pepsi, Sprite. Sort of rate those so people know what to compare. That's fine. Um, I would love to do a blind test. Ooh, that'd like, be that, fun. don't even tell them the, what this is. Just like. Let them try to describe it themselves. Okay, okay. Sounds like fun. Um, I did like the texture, right? Oh, that's I'm, true. I'm being pretentious here. Uh, but it's uh, thick. It's somewhat thick. Like, I feel like the we had Diet Coke earlier today. Mm -hmm. Like that went down pretty smoothly. No, we didn't have Diet Coke. We had Seven Eleven's patented Coke. Uh, yeah, the 1927 brand. Which it, it's we'll, we'll maybe we'll get to reviewing that if we ever get past episode two. Yes. <laughs> um, but that one that one was pretty watery. This one's this one has like a thicker thicker feel to it. It does feel more, a little bit more like cream soda. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not quite as thick, but I mean it's not like regular soda. It, it has it has it has kind of a cream soda feel when it hits your mouth. Mm -hmm. But. Again, when you swallow it, you really get that that sherba mate taste. Hmm. See? What's the that? Um, novelty and uniqueness is another thing we have here on our list. We we have a little guideline of things we thought that we should cover here. Oh, as far as novelty goes, I think this is for me fairly like novel, new. Um, I haven't encountered this before. Yeah, I've, I've never I've, seen an Herba Mate soda before, so this is pretty cool. Um, it's it's made in Miami, but I've never had a can of this in my entire life. Where is this distributed from? <sighs> from Miami. Is this Miami? But you need me some. No, Miami, Florida. Oh shit! Okay, it's pretty cool. Three three one four two. Hi. Okay. That's a Miami thing. Hmm. Extremely um, local, then. Okay. Yes, extremely local. 
I don't know. I don't know. We're... We, we have so many Latin things down here that it doesn't really strike me as particularly unique or interesting. Okay, I mean, it, compared to maybe like other places in the United States, like if you're going to say like Montana, they're not going to have that Montana. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So so if somebody's watching from Montana... Hello. Hello, Montana. I hear you have lovely m mountains. <laughs> um, you, you might find this very interesting. Uh, but... It just tastes like any other like weird Central American drink. Doesn't iron beer taste similar to this? Iron beer's not Hispanic, is it? No, that's that's the Irish one. No, no, no. What, what, oh, that's the Irish one, right? I don't know. No, no. Which one am I confused? There's there's one that tastes very similar to this, and the, 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 like the Central Americans like to drink. I don't know what it is. Okay. I've heard of iron beer. I've had it before. The root beer floats. You, I don't you, know which you, one you're referring you, you to though. You get it in, in the supermarket. It's Inca Cola, maybe. Maybe Inca Cola. I know. I know that one exists, but I haven't tried it. Okay. We'll no, probably I... make another episode. Yeah. We'll 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 we'll, we'll look at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is unique in that I don't think I've ever seen uh, another soda that that is is mate flavored or or has is like the main source of the main ingredient is mate. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and give our final ratings. So, final ratings for the Materva Mate Soda. What we do now is that we go through the five categories, right, that we we tried to go through. This is our first episode, so I, I feel like it was a bit of a, of a jumble. We have, we're trying to go through a, like a, 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 a sort of a, a road plan here, uh, but we're not sticking with it. it we decided to do this very late at night. This is we just we just we're just winging this. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's what you want to see the uh, audience. <laughs> it, I don't. I'm being honest here. Honesty, okay. <laughs> honesty is the best policy. Uh, um, you can stretch it sometimes. It, it'll it'll get better. It'll get a, a lot better. Um, but anyways, yeah. So what we're gonna try to do here for for future episodes is we're gonna go through. We have five categories: flavor. Right, carbonation slash texture, color, novelty, and sounds and smells. Right, um, and each of us is going to give it uh, a point out of ten, and then when we add up all of these points, it'll give it'll give us a number out of a hundred, and that'll be the final uh, rating that we give it for the episode. So. Let's begin. Uh, Flavor-wise, I'm going to give it one last sip here. Yeah, I was doing the same thing too a little bit earlier. Flavor's okay. It's okay. Um, what would you add it? It tastes like somebody added a lot of sugar to some tea. Yeah. And it just tastes kind of gross. It to me, it's almost like candy. That's it's just me. Yeah, like some old-timey candy. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Mm, out of 10 I mean it's, it's not a bad flavor if you like the flavor then this is like a strong rich you know thing um, but it's not really particularly my thing so I'm just gonna give it a six. Oh, that's a little bit higher I gave it five okay so that's 11 let's move on carbonation slash texture I'm actually gonna give that a nine. Oh, I was gonna give it a six it's oh really I thought it was thick and it was very carbonated which I like it was enjoyable. I wouldn't go crazy for it. So, just a slightly above average. Okay. So, 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 plus 11 is... Uh, 26, what it sounds like. Great. Well, how do why didn't I... Whatever. Next category is... Uh, color. That's its own category, category apparently. We're gonna refine this. Color, I go to 5. Average. <laughs> I don't even know what honestly, that... honestly, it was it was the color was unappetizing. I, I'm gonna give it like a. F I don't know. I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. Oh, did you give it a five? I gave it a five. So that's seven. That's eight. What am I doing? Oh my god, it's really late at night. Uh, eight <laughs> plus uh, twenty six. Eight plus twenty six. Thirty four. Okay, uh, novelty. Maybe we should. We'll, we'll... Novelty, I I'm gonna give it a nine. Yes, 
Really? <laughs> Look at me the stairs. Just because I've never run this. Uh, I've never seen this before. Uh, first time running into it. It seems kind of cool. I never thought about making a soda of herba mate. So I like the idea of having opened this and having tried it. Uh, that, that to me was the, the most fun. Um, and I enjoyed that aspect of this review. Okay, actually, you know what? I, I was I was gonna give it far less, but yeah, it, there is uh, there is some novelty. Wait, what were you gonna give it before I said that? I was gonna give it a three or a two. Oh, really low? No, I... because it's just some gross tasting Latin drink. Yeah, but like mean, it's Latin. I'm gonna give it a, a five. Okay, I'm gonna give it a nine uh, as far as that goes. Fourteen plus oh, thirty-four. Thirty-four. Forty-eight. We're at forty-eight. 48, okay. And finally, the last category, sounds and smells. Um, smell was like candy. To me, it smelled like candy. They call it Jolly Rogers, I think they call it Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, That's it's... reminded me of it first. After you, like, after I remembered like, it was mate, I was like, okay, I can kind of see where the tea smells coming from, but like super sugary, super sugary. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a. Again, it it again, it, it, it smells kind of unappetizing, at least to my palate. Um, the smell I give a four. I'm gonna give it a four too. Yeah. So that's eight. So what 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 are we at? Forty eight plus eight, that's fifty six. Okay. Right. Yes. So, so fifty six out of hundred. Fifty six out of a hundred. It's an average score, or slightly just slightly above average. Right down the middle, basically, slightly above average, slightly. slightly only because of novelty. <laughs> yeah, only only because of the novelty. Um. So, yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys are ever in Miami, or if you ever come by, Materba. That's what uh, I was gonna ask you. W w would you recommend? Yeah, I would recommend it just for the novelty, just so you can just say you've drank it before. Uh, but after the first try, why do it again? I mean, unless you really like it. Um, okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I I didn't enjoy it much, but I would say, why not have a sip? It costs a dollar for yeah. a can. So if you're in Miami, or if you live in Miami and you've never heard of this thing, or if you've never had one, yeah, pop into a 7-Eleven near you, pick one up, and see if you like this sort of bitter, sugary thing. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching us uh, give this review. We enjoyed it a lot, and we enjoyed getting to try out this uh, soda. So, hope to catch you on the flip side. Bye. Yeah,